What's up and welcome back guys to another video. Um, today we're working on the car again. If you guys don't remember what had happened in the last video, I went, changed my front calipers to some brand new ones and I converted my car to five lug. Uh, here's what the OEM ones look like. And then these are the old wheels. I got some other wheels that I'm gonna throw on sooner or later. Just gotta get some new tires. And basically what I got planned today is I got some suspension arms that just came in. Or did these just a couple days ago. Came in pretty quick. Um, give you guys a quick look of what the OEM ones look like. Obviously my OEM ones don't look bad, but upgrades are upgrades. And uh, give you guys a quick cinematic of what all these look like. And then we'll start getting to work. Okay, so I'm hoping to get all this stuff knocked out by the end of today so I can put the car back on the ground and um, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the videos. I know I am because I get to work on my car, but uh, yeah, let's get to it. I guess just a little heads up before like actually going into things. Once you finish basically throwing all the new suspension arms on and tensioners and stuff, Obviously, you're gonna have to go get a realignment and stuff just so everything's perfect to your liking because I know I am I'm hopefully gonna get some wheels soon, too That's why I got this uh, Set up the way it is and um, Obviously once I do get new wheels, I'm gonna go and get another alignment, but uh yeah, so All this stuff is gonna get thrown on right now. So we're gonna get to work Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the front end first. These are the tensioners. Uh, reason I'm going and starting with the tensioners first because obviously it's gonna be the easiest or ho I'm hoping it's gonna be the easiest. So I'm gonna start knocking this out and then I'll get to you guys back when I get it all on. Okay, so here's the comparison from the ISR uh, performance tensioner to the OEM one. Um, if you're wondering, all of these are just size 17. These two holes where the bolt is, where these bolts are. And then, right that. They're all size 17, and uh, it also helps to have a air impact and stuff. But uh, yeah, now it just obviously looks smaller, but I'm gonna have to make my adjustments, and then uh, we should be able to throw it on easy. So this is what the new front tensioner looks like. They come with their own um bolts uh the top if you're wondering is a three eighths and then you can use the same uh nuts as the from the oem one uh yeah so here's the old one and now this is what the new one looks like obviously i am not done with this side yet but i am going to start the other side i still have to go and make my adjustments if you're wondering how to make your adjustments just tighten and loosen this and then you got uh two nuts right here that are basically locking nuts and uh yeah i'm gonna go and start the other side and then after we'll get the rear started and once everything's all done then we'll make our full adjustments now we got both sides off um uh, i guess i forgot to show you guys but before you go and you put in your new one i'm gonna make sure you guys have basically a preset set at the same one as the OEM one. So that's what we're going to do first. Basically, basically what we're going to do is uh, go measure from the center of that to the end. And then adjust that so it's even. Both sides are all done up in the front. Um, got them all set up. So whenever I do go get an alignment and stuff. Obviously, the people that are going to do the alignment are going to adjust them themselves. But, um, it's basically what both the OEM parts look like. This is the passenger side or their driver side for basically American spec. This shit was beat up. Uh, this one, not, not as much. But, obviously, they could have both used an upgrade. So, a win is a win. And, uh, yeah. So, got everything ready, set up. Now... I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go and take apart basically the um, 
coil over, take them out so I can go and get this top one off because it's basically surrounding it and I'm not going to be able to get the um, that arm off because the coilover is in the way. So I'm going to go take apart both coilovers and then after that we can start working on the, re the rear arms basically and then we should have everything on and ready to go. So these both are size 12 millimeter. Got to I'm gonna start loosening them up. Basically, I'm gonna go do that to both sides, and then after that, I can go and take off the nut that's holding the bottom of the um, coilover. That's a size uh, 17, I believe. Yeah, size 17 socket. And after that, we'll be able to take out the coilover, and we can go start taking everything else apart. All right, so we got all the nets taken apart for this side of the coilover. Now, basically all you have to do is you can basically push it out. Sometimes the bottom will get stuck, so it doesn't hurt to go and give it a kick sometimes. But yeah, kind of hurt me the way the coil dropped, but it's all good. Um, it's all part of the work. Now, uh, basically, just so you don't lose any of the nuts and stuff. Just throw them back on. And then basically do the same thing to the other side, which I'll go and do right now. All right, so basically same thing as the other side. I'm getting the last nut loosened at the top and then I already loosened, nope, there you go. I loosened the nut at the bottom. So all we would have to basically do this is just like the last one. Go ahead and give it a kick. Damn. Good thing I saved this one because that would fucking hurt my heart if I dropped this one too. But uh, yeah, now I can go and start taking everything off. And basically now is, uh, I guess, the hardest part is choosing my battle. So I don't know if, which one I really want to start with first. But uh shouldn't be that hard when it's I tried putting everything back on so let's hope that this sit doesn't fight me that hard now we got the OEM one taken out I got the ISR performance one ready just gotta make a quick adjustment so it matches close or perfect to that and we can throw it in so now that we got first one down just got two more to go and then we can put the um, coil over back on or I could right now but I'm gonna just get everything else on and then we can go and start the other side okay so basically got all the driver's side done um, when I was putting this one on which is this one right here uh, I think these are called bushings uh, they come in two different sizes um, ISR gives you two different but um, basically the ones that are thrown on the S13 or that you're going to have on the S13 are these smaller ones. They come in here. I have the uh, original ones that, I, that were on there um, in here. But these ones basically need to get changed out because they're too thick and they won't fit. So <clears throat> basically what you do is you could just take uh, pliers and stuff, pry them out, and then you go take these and then you push them and just basically try to get this seal around this lip and then it will fit onto here and stuff but uh everything's on i'm gonna go and throw on the coilover now and then we can check out what everything looks like and boom just like that all of the fucking suspension arms are on for the driver's side i still have to do that side but um uh, fronts are done too but uh Dang, I had to hurry up because I'm gonna shit myself. I didn't fucking. Oh my lord. But everything matches. Everything... Damn, I broke my ankle. Um, but everything looks good. Um, everything's all tightened up and stuff. But uh, now, go over here. And basically, I have to do the same thing. <sighs> it already took long enough, but gotta get it done. So, we're gonna get it done right now. 
So I am about to start the passenger side now, but just wanted to give you guys a quick comparison of what basically both look like side to side. I should have probably started out with this, but here you guys go. Um, cool thing about this is this like bronze or goldish color or brass color. I don't know what it is. It, it's basically the same as... Um, Turn this light on okay. as the BC ones, so everything matches under. And you go over here to the front, I'll show the front too. But everything basically matches, which is cool. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go start getting this all done, and then I'll show you guys basically uh, all the OEM ones off, and then I'll give you guys the cinematic of basically everything on. Okay, so I was trying to stay positive the whole time, trying to take off the rear, but holy fuck, I was gonna lose my fucking mind just trying to get off this side. I don't know why this side was being uh, way more difficult than the other side, but finally got everything on. And I don't wanna complain and vent to you guys, but holy shit, this thing was fucking stupid as hell. But uh, I finally got it on. I'm gonna try to see if these wheels uh, have enough air. I think a couple of them do. I want to lower the back, not lower the back, but I want to drop the back from being on jack stands just so we can see what it looks like. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go hopefully get tires for those wheels soon, or maybe I'll try to borrow some from my friend, but let me go throw the wheels on in the back, lower the back and we'll check it out. All right, so I got all the wheels. On in the back, uh, can't pin any wheels on in the front because the wheels are obviously bad. But I'm gonna drop the, the rear and we're gonna check out how it looks. <coughs> Alrighty, so here's the car on the ground. These wheels are size 17. Probably gonna go size 18 wheels and then low pro profile tires. But um, obviously it's not on the ground all the way because the front's still up. But, is final result and then yeah and uh yeah so that's basically it for this video um if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and then um basically uh if you guys learned something today i'm always learning something about my car but uh yeah this shit was pissing me off but it doesn't take away the love i have for my car but uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video